Welcome friends for doing analysis of time series in Jamovi. So once you have uh, installed Jamovi in your computer, you will find uh, the desktop icon created automatically. Just you click there and you land up in the new uh, software Jamovi, which has been built so that statistical analysis can be done quickly. Uh, Jamovi has the power of R and all computations are done in R. So you open with a spreadsheet here. Uh, we need to enter the data. I have already my data in an Excel file. So month, uh, year and the maximum uh, temperature uh, measured in terms of average. That is average. For example, this is the average uh, maximum temperature of January 2018, entire month. So entire month, every day maximum temperature is recorded. Average of those 31 days is 20.1. So this way I have the data for several years. So what I do is that I copy this data weekly and then I go to the spreadsheet and just I paste it. So once I paste it here, data will come over here. You can see the uh, uh, it is taking some time because the data source is quite large. So once it is written down, now let us see that uh, if you want to do this analysis uh, of time series uh, analysis, ERIMA model, fitting ERIMA model, uh, we just can't do it directly uh, because uh, the module is not available for time series analysis. What we do need to do is that we go to modules here and we click on modules and then there is a Jamovi library. So once we go to this Jamovi library, then it will give me all the all the available uh, packages uh, of Jamovi out of which I will go down and uh, then I will start for snow cluster. I will search for snow cluster, snow cluster. Yeah, here is snow cluster. So I uh, here you see in snow cluster all the uh, competitions that can be done using this particular module is given here listed uh, out of which last part one you can see that univariate time series uh, time series. Generally it will be installed here. Just you can click and it will get installed. Uh, I have already installed it. Once you install then you here you will see a new icon is created that is snow cluster. So this is the new icon snow cluster created over here okay by the time we had uh, installed snow cluster our data set also has been uh, imported and it is available here so you can see now i'll need to change the name of the variables a little bit uh, so i click on variables once i click on variables the default name is abc i want to change it a was uh, like it was month so let me make it month nominal data okay fine uh, then I click on B. Uh, B is my year. So I have nominal, I can make it uh, ordinal. Okay, there is an order in it. Uh, and then I go to C, which is my main time series data. That is, uh, let us call it max spam. Uh, and in the detailed description, I write, um, I write that uh, maximum temperature, maximum average temperature. of that month of literature. So if it is January 2018, that means it is the average maximum temperature of the month January of the year 2018. So this is continuous. Uh, yeah, it have, can have decimals also. And uh, so, okay, fine. We are satisfied. We click here and go back to our, uh, have a look at the data, ESC month, year and maximum temperature it has been already there now we go to analysis here and then we go to snow cluster in snow cluster we come down and we have at the end last erima model so we click on erima model so once we click on erima model so these uh, things are there now you see some boxes are there dependent variable time variable and covariates now this is actually erima model they are giving an instruction that do not move the variables into time or covariate box so these two boxes no transfer of variable should be done I don't know why they have given the boxes. Anyways, so we take month and uh, year, we don't touch it. We take maximum temperature, we take it in the dependent variable. Well, once you do this, they have tell that the dependent variable is having a frequency of 12. Yes, after every 12, because this is monthly data. So in a year, there are 12 months. So let it be 12. Prediction, they are asking to make the prediction for 10 uh, more uh, data points. Okay, let it be like this. And then we go to analyze. Uh, and then analyze, we tick everyone, decomposition, box, plot, 
automatic ARIMA forecast. That means for ARIMA will be best model feed. That means it will feed the best model. Will give the prediction intervals also, and then we get the residual plot because this will help us to understand whether uh, after after fitting the model, white noise has been generated or not. And we want to predict also. So I click on predict. So predict means forecasting. So all this is done. And once this is done, then uh, you see already your model has started working. Some movements are there because our data set is large. It will take some time uh, for the entire uh, calculations to be done. So uh, let us uh, come back once again. So friends, our result is ready. Uh, here we see the model coefficients. Uh, it does not describe which model it has fitted, but we will get the information later when we browse. It has given us the different uh, characteristics or different measures of model feed. It has given the AIC values as well, uh, as, well as AICC values also. And as you know that uh, smaller the value, better is the feed. But here we have uh, fitted the best model. And then it has predicted. So this you see it has uh, predicted 42, 42 it is coming. Because we have taken 42 years, half of 42 years. In the total data set, there are 42 years. But we have started from 1981 and we have gone up to 2022 July. So that actually counts total of 42 years. So it is giving August 42. That means 42 means uh, month August for the 42nd year. And uh, incidentally, 42nd year is 2022. So that uh, uh, little change you have to bear with. Uh, so the forecast is this, that is the average maximum temperature in the month of August in uh, that particular station will be 31.8. In September, it will be uh, 30.8. Like this, it has given us the forecast uh, for several years because we have asked for prediction of 10 years. So you'll find that it starts with 42 and then it will go up to 52. So it go up to 52. If you think that you don't require so many years of prediction you can uh, decrease here like you can have two or even one year okay so this is done and these are the upper limits and lower limits 95 percent confidence interval of the maximum temperature which has been forecasted okay we come down further and we see that there is a graph which shows us the decomposition of the series this is the observed values that is uh, the actual values that we have this is the trend uh, this is the seasonal fluctuation so good there is some seasonal fluctuation and there is a random component here and the randomization is not around zero as you can see it seems to be around one so uh, this indicates that this is not a white noise this means uh, the time series itself is not a white noise and since uh, you see that there is a uh, from the trend graph we understand that the average will have a shift and so is the variation so we also understand that this will not be a uh, stationary uh, time series so it shall be converted to stationary you see these are the temperature deviations across the different months uh, there are some outliers also this is the box plot for that and this is the automatic forecast uh, for the model now here it declares the model that the best model fitted is uh, p is 2 uh, that means uh, second order autocorrelation is 2 there is no difference that is no integration has been taken place but moving average is 4 and for the seasonal uh, ERIMA, we have uh, auto regression of two, but there is a, you see one that is there is a lag of seasonal lag of one and then uh, seasonal moving average of one. And the frequency of the data is 14, that means, uh, sorry, 12. That is uh, 12 month data we have. Uh, these are the blue portions which are showing us the um, predicted values in the graph that what in the forecast for the graphs. And uh, this is the, uh, residual plot after the model has been fitted from the residual plot you can understand uh, that well it looks that it is uh, moving around zero so this seems to be a white noise but variance is to be constant uh, these are the forecasts of ERIMA uh, prediction this is the prediction of ERIMA so we have uh, these models so we have uh, this data set so this uh, thing is there this is what they are in offer. They have not tested whether this is a white noise or not. Uh, that is autocorrelation is there or not for the residual plot, which we have done uh, in R uh, when we studied time series analysis. So this much many uh, things that we have done in R after writing so many commands are just clicks away if we use GMOV. Thanks for watching this video.